Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn what is use selector and how to use use selector and use dispatch and what are the purpose, what is the purpose of using use selector and use dispatch. So let me quickly jump into the next slide what we will cover in this video. So topics which we will cover in this video are how to avoid the usage of connect of react products. So I have explained completely about the connect and how to use them in react products in my previous video and I'll provide the link in the description. In this video, I'll just cover what we did in our previous video in a glance. And also, we'll see how to use use selector and use dispatch and also what exactly the selector in React products and how to create them and how to use them in React, how to use multiple red users along with thunk. So here in this video, we'll cover one single thunk with one single red user. But in my previous video, I have explained with multiple red users also how to replace connect with use selector and use dispatch. So how we will be replacing our whole connect logic with our hooks which are provided by React Redux. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I'll just explain you the demo what we did in connect. So if you see the browser, okay, there is a button when I click this button, there will be some logic which executes and it will call an API call once you get the response that will be shown here. And I made this with Slogy so that you will be seeing all the states of that particular reducer logic. So let me click on get remote data. And if you see you are seeing loading and after some time you got the list of content and this what we did is we have created some set of components and also connect and also reducer. So let me show you that what I did. So here you have store.tsx which is the default or the root store variable. So we are creating a store and I'm combining one reducer. We can combine n number of reducers over here and also we have apply middleware for thunk to dispatch asynchronous functions and also I have created pages and inside these pages you have a list and this is the UI where it will receive the set of props and it will show all the props over here and it will be showing this loading if the data is loading if you receive the data you will be getting the list of data and whenever we get an error we are showing an error message over here but this is not directly linked up with our app component if you go here we have app.tsx and inside this we have connected by using list connect we didn't used list instead we used connect why because this connect is the person who is responsible to take all the state variables and dispatch variables and give it to your component so this helps us to connect your reducer with your component and let me go into reducer part if you see here I have created action types reducer and state if you see the state this is the initial state and it, this is the interface for that list and we have a reducer here we have created a list reducer and we wrote all this content with our particular actions and if I see the actions we have three set of actions one is request one is success and one is failure case so these were handled completely by your connect if you see here when I click on the get edit it will dispatch your get edit API that means it is getting the API data and here we are dispatching some set of logics over here where it dispatches the type as a request and once you get the success it is dispatching the success action and when you one once it goes into the catch it is dispatching the failure case so here everything is same but the extra what we are seeing over here is connect okay so to avoid this connect and usage of connect we have some set of hooks which are provided by react redux and these are applicable only after react 16 version that is with the functional components alone if you don't have functional components and if you want to use the class components for sure you have to go with the connect way of approach or if you are using functional component and that functional component is not above version 16 of react then the pro only approach is using connect so now we are using version above 16 so let me go into package json and if you see here the react is 18.2.0 that means we are using 18.2.0 it is greater than your version 16 now our motto is to avoid the usage of connect. So how to avoid this? So let me go here what exactly that connect is doing. If you see this connect, we have two set of 
objects two set of functions which are returning two set of objects one is map state to props whatever your reducer is giving to you that we are making as a proper formatted structure and this are passed as a props to your list and also map dispatch to props whatever the actions we want to dispatch that can be configured in this function and this function returns all the dispatching functions as a props to your component now here this is doing only two things one is getting the data from the reducer and this is dispatching the actions to the reducer so these are the two things which we are doing by using connect so this two things if we are trying to avoid then we are good to go without connect so let me go into our list component so now what I want to do is I don't want to use this props that means I don't want to use this connect so before for we are not using this connect so for that sake let me go into app.tsx and just remove this so I am not using this now instead I will point to the list component so this is my list component save this now first thing is we need to have the capability to dispatch the content so where we are dispatching the content if you see here we have something called as get data by using get remote data that means it is the person who is dispatching the action in our connect this is the dispatch logic but now what I'll do is I'll use one of the hook provided by react redux for dispatching that is const dispatch is equal to use dispatch so we have a hook called as use dispatch this helps us to dispatch our logic whenever we want to use this helps us to dispatch our actions so instead of using this props dot get data I'll just dispatch this get data how we can dispatch this by using a dispatch we can use get data or get API data so let me pass get API call so let me see where it is coming from it is coming from the service and let me click on this you can see this get API call and if you observe this what is the error over here argument of type dispatch void is not assignable to the property of any action as so I'm just calling this API call and let's go here so first whether this API call is triggering or not let me go here and just write one console console.log of I am inside API and save this if you see here just click this if you go here you are getting the data and just let me reload this and let me remove this slow 3g and just click on this you can see I'm inside API and you are getting the data and now we are able to dispatch the data but we need to show the UI over here right for getting that UI what I'll do is I'll use something called as use selector so what that selector will give is it will give a set of object to you so for example I want to get a list state is equal to there is something called as use selector and this selector will receive a state and that state will be your root state so how to give a type for root state let me go into store.ts and here let me export a type where I want to export a root state type is equal to I can use something called as return type which is of type of I can give something like a store dot get state I want to get this state from store and now I am able to return this so it will give you the return type as a root state let me pass this root state and import it so now this is a function and what this function will give you is state dot we have one reducer called as list reducer and inside this list reducer I can get all the values of that list reducer so what that contains list reducer data loading and error so let me give a semicolon save this and now let me copy this and just console it list state and save this if you go here and you can see the data everything has the default data let me clear this off and click this now you are getting the data with all the values and error is null and loading is false for the first time it gave us complete details but before that it dispatched one more action called as loading true when your API is loading then the loading will be true so all the properties we came across here either you can use this as an object structure or you can destructure it by using all the properties one is data one is loading and one is error so instead of using it from props what we can do is we can just change this into the data object 
and here I can use loading property and here I can use data property and here I can use error property directly without using any props. Let me save this, go here and just clear it off, reload. Now let me click on get remote data. Now it came with all the data and now we are not using any of the connect logic. So if you see the connect, we have this file but we didn't use this connect anymore. What it is doing, it is having some set of loading data and error instead of using map state to props we have created our map state to props by using use selector so use selector will act like a map state to props which will return you all the latest state from this list reducer so whatever the list reducer is returning whenever the list reducer gets updated this will call the data and it will give the updated values to this particular object and if you see here maps dispatch to props what we are doing we are calling an api by using the dispatch logic this dispatch property we are getting from use dispatch so instead of using the map dispatch to props we are using use dispatch which will return you one property and by using that property i am able to call any of the api as we are using typescript it is expecting some set of actions so that's why i just gave it as any so now you are able to dispatch and you are able to get the data and no need to use this props as well so let me remove this and save this and also we are not using this connect so let me remove this connect so that we need to remove all the dependencies for that here is a dependency for it so now we are not using our connect anymore instead we have replaced that by using dispatch as well as use selector so use selector is used and works like map state to props dispatch will works like maps dispatch to props so now we have completely removed our connect logic from our react so let me go here and now let me test it with one more scenario where we are making a slow motion where we are getting the data very slowly from the network. So let me make it hit. Now you are getting a loading indicator and now you are getting the data. And if you go to the API call and make this as wrong URL to do. So let me go here and just reload this. Now let me go to no threat owning so that it will be loading fast. Now I'll make it as slow. Let me click on this. Now it is loading and after some time you'll be getting an error. Something went wrong because the URL is wrong and the URL is not present. So we are getting 404. So that is how we have dispatched three set of actions and all the three set of actions are dispatched from one single API that are getting updated in your red user and red user is returning a new state. Whenever there is a new state written from the red user, you selector will call and it will give you all the properties. And also you, you can write this function as a separate function. Why? Because the people may be using or reusing this particular state n number of times. So I what I recommend is just cut this and go into your reducer logic. So here we have a reducer logic. So we can just create them as a selectors. So list dot selectors dot ts. So this is what the selector. Selector means whatever the function you are creating, you will be creating them by using your state. For example, I'm using const and uh, I'm using get list reducer loading so i want to get only the loading indicator whether it is exist or not so let me export this or even you can get the state whole state so for example i am using a reducer state directly okay now let me save this and let me import this okay now we can use this get list reducer instead of calling them and import this so now we have this reducer and this reducer is coming from list reducer and just what i'll use is as any or just you can use that particular specific variables but now I am using this as any so let me go here and what is the problem or just you can pass it from this state and let me use use selector with this way by using this state save this and let me pass it as colon root state type so now I passed it or else simple to say instead of using this whole structure I can just use get list reducer state save this so now this will point to list reducer and automatically whenever we are using the use selector that use selector will send one parameter to this method and that method will receive the parameter as a state and that state we are pointing to list reducers and just we are returning this list reducer as any so let me go here and check it out 
now we got something went wrong let me go to the list service and make it as to do's and save this let me go and reload this now let me make it no threat holding and let me click on this now you got the data so instead of using all the individuals instead of creating the or creating the functions instead of creating the functions for your selectors in the list or in the component we can make one more file called as selectors and we can get it and here we are getting only the list reducer for example if you want to get all these three properties in an individual manner for example I can go here and create export const list reducer loading status is equal to again it will receive a state and that state will receive the root state type and this will receive state dot list reducer dot loading as boolean so I want to return it as boolean value so let me copy this and where, where this is pointing to loading so I can create an individual variables also something like loading is equal to use selector and let me pass this list reducer loading state so let me pass this and just remove this so I have created one more selector which only points to the loading indicator even let me copy this and paste and paste so let me point to data and let me point to error and just comment this and we have used loading before so let me put this just to see the difference and now let me go here and copy this and put it over here where I am getting the data list reducer data state and I will return data which is of any or you can point to a specific reducer logic so if you go to your reducer you have the type for this so we are using some set of types for our initial state here you can see type is any of array or null so we can pass the same thing over there so as any or null you can just pass over here but I generally prefer to use any so that it comes under the null as well so export const so let me copy paste this and error state I want to get error state and this error state I can get it again from this and here you will be getting an error this will be a string as a string so let me save this now I will use this data state for our data logic and I'll use list rate user error state for error logic so let me save this and here you can see there is a problem here data this may be null so let me use a question mark and save this and you can see all are done and successfully compiled let me go here just clear it off and reload let me go to slow 3g and let me click this you are able to see loading and you are able to see the data so that is how you can use selectors so use selectors can be used on overall state of a particular reducer or you can write your selectors and make them individual so that you can access them anywhere and making them as a selectors helps us to write or reuse them at any point of time in any of the component which are not related to these reducers also so that's how you can use use selectors in our react hope this gives you complete understanding how to avoid the connect file after version 16 of react and this works only for functional components as we know functional components can only use the hooks otherwise class components cannot use any hooks so that is the reason this all can be used only in the functional components of react if you go with class component or before previous version of functional components like before 16 then you have to use connect and it is mandatory to use connect otherwise you cannot use your selectors or you cannot use dispatch logics hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you